So um, I'd like to call the meeting to order. Um, are there any adjustments to the agenda? There is. I, I want to add an executive session under 1 VSA 313A1E, uh, pending litigation, for okay. an update on our pending litigation. Okay. All right. So, and where would you like to, you want to do that at the end, obviously? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. We, we should have been talking about that in executive session every time, but right. we also got well, we got waylaid by somebody else who didn't want us to, and so that's... Yeah. Okay. Um, so, um, looks like we both um, looked at the bills, what there is of them, and mm -hmm. signed them, so... Um, and I just got the minutes to you yesterday, so I don't know if you had a chance to read them. I did read them through pretty quickly. They look, looked yeah. okay to me. Okay. Yeah. And this is the minutes from from the special meeting, the budget well, meeting budget that we meeting. had. Okay. So, um, do I hear a motion to approve the bills and the payroll? Oh, I'll make that motion. All right. And by seconding, I guess we both yeah. approve oh. it. Um, so. Um, I'll also make a motion to approve the minutes from the November 28th meeting and the December 6th I didn't uh, special uh, select board meeting um, to special budget meeting, I guess I'll call it. So, okay, second that. Okay. Um, so those are approved. Is there any public comment at all from anyone? All right. So town clerk's report. Okay, I did call Brookfield Generator, and they said that we haven't had any contract with them for the highway generator. Mm -hmm. And the only thing they have done for us was a troubleshoot this past January. Okay. Yeah. Um, did you mention that the select board thought it was for the school emergency generator? I did not, but we okay. did the school one back. FY22. Okay. So when that comes due, they'll send us that contract. Correct. In the meantime, okay. we'll just not sign this contract, right? right. Or not show them that we signed it already. We won't send it. <laughs> <Right>. Okay. <laughs> so we should mention in, in the public meeting that we, when we did approve that contract at uh, the November 28th meeting, uh, we were under the assumption that it was for the school generator. We, I guess we didn't read the fine print. We didn't something. read it. It said right on the top. <laughs> yeah. So, and thankfully, Robin discovered yeah. that. Um, so I just want to mention that that was a mistake on the select board's part and that we in no way um, mm -hmm. wish to have a, a second contract with Brookfield Services for them to maintain the, the uh, generator. Um, at the town garage. The road crew has done fine with that for quite a while. So, mm -hmm. all right. Um, yeah. And we received an email from Brett Meyer, the Washington County Sheriff's Department, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. showing us the status of the traffic stop that they have done since July 1st, mm -hmm. which I could attach okay. to those. Mm -hmm. okay. And they would also like to make I guess an appointment to come meet the select board. Sure. Yeah. That's great. Do you want to set that up, Diana? Or sure. So if I can, yeah. Just yeah. give me a piece of paper as a reminder. Uh, Are there two copies there? No, I mean. Yeah. There's actually, I think they're two different letters. They're the same. This one is no, December they're the same. 7th. They're, they are the same. Okay. And we've also received in the dues request from Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission, and the dues for FY24 are $1,234.24. Okay. $1,000 what? $1,234.24. Okay. So. Next time we work on the budget. Okay, we'll add that in. Okay. And then we've got a little bit of a neighbor dispute going on. Mm, okay, that's always fun. Do we have a fence viewer? No, we eliminated that position, actually. 
Um, the state actually eliminated them. Yeah. Okay. So a fence because theory used to be about if your cow got out or uh, got onto somebody else's <laughs> property. That's those were the duties of a fence mm -hmm. theory. Okay, because the fence is right on the property line. And he says if he needs to do any repair to this fence, he's going to have to go onto the neighbor's property. Who's this? Okay. Who's this? Um, Stanger and Marcial. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. And Marcial and his or wife do not want care. him on their property. Okay. So. Yeah. That's. That's from neighbor to neighbor. The, the town really can't. Okay. Get involved in that. Okay. We do, I mean the lister the listers are sort of the our modern day fence viewers or border disputes, but I don't even know if they're obligated to do I, anything about I that. Don't I don't think, think they so. are. So um, so um somebody put up the fence and it's right on the property line. Correct. Yep. And somebody wants to fix the fence? He says if he needs to fix the if fence. If he needs so, so it's not even a pending right issue. Right now it's not an issue. Well, then. No. But he's looking into the future. That sounds like they don't get along very <laughs> looking well. <for> <laughs> yeah, um, looking for trouble. <laughs> yeah, that's something they have to work out, I think, yep. as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not really a town issue. Yeah. And then I'm still waiting on eight of the appropriation requests for FY24. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Do we have a deadline for that? Yeah, yeah. There's that policy that Skip mm -hmm. wrote a bunch of I years ago. I saw December fifteenth. That said mm -hmm. December fifteenth, but mm -hmm. you know, as long as they come in, I think that's earlier than the actual statutory deadline, in order to get something in the town budget. Okay. I think there's a later deadline that the state sets. So. Okay. Do you think it would be good to just contact those different? That's what I was going to ask if mm -hmm. you wanted me I, I would, to. I would think that would be the step to take, yeah, okay. just to remind them. Mm -hmm. Some of them may not want an appropriate. <coughs> okay. Mm -hmm. no. we'll work on that tomorrow. Okay. Well, thank you for doing that. And that's basically all I've got since I was out last week. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got any news for us on Brandy? Just that they're home rested. Yep. And there's, she's not planning to show up again I don't know. real soon? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Tom's coming in tomorrow. Yes. Did the payroll get done today, or is she going to do it with Tom tomorrow? She got pay stubs done. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if the whole process got finished, but she, mm -hmm. yep. Mm -hmm. And it got sent to the bank, so. Oh, so it's done. Okay. Except for that, what, 941 form that needs to be filled oh, out with mm -hmm. each payroll? I don't know. Maybe we should try to check in with Brandy to see if she's going to be available to mm, yeah, we for can't her go, role in the budget. Can't go too long without a treasurer. Mm. I mean, bills are getting paid. and I don't think checks are getting deposited, though. So that's a concern. Well, I right? can double stamp them and take them to the bank and you can just take instead them. of running them through her check reader. Yeah, mm -hmm. it might, might, might be a good idea to do that. Just, yeah. I know the delinquent tax collector has a few that are sitting there. Okay. I'll work on that tomorrow, Jim. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions at all for Robin, town clerk? All right. Um, no, Carol's not here yet. No, from our town treasurer is absent. Um, so, um, If everybody's okay with this, why don't we move right on to the Nichols Camp Road, Nichols Dam Road, actually. Um, and so, can you tell us who's here, for yes. the record? We have Taylor, oh, Nick, you know and Andrew Meyer, um, and I'm not... Joe, let me meet you, Mike. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, you're, you're not, not here with that. I'm not here, not about that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> have you got, because you weren't here when we talked about public comment or uh, are you here right. on one of the I subjects? I just want to hear about the, yeah, the, the water situation okay. at the school. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Okay. okay. Um, Nick, you said Nick? Nick, Taylor, and Andrew Meyer. Mm, okay. okay. 
So, yeah. yeah, so at our last meeting, um, we had a letter from uh, someone um, just wondering what's up with the gates on the road. And we did discuss that at our select board meeting. Um, I kind of filled people in on, you know, what the camp association has um, been talking about and, and their concerns. Um, I have heard, received some other questions, comments about the roads um, and, the, you know, mostly with the gates. Um, so, and, you know, I know that um, that your family has long stated that those that road, the dam road, what's called the Nichols Dam Road, is a private road. And um, but really, I have never looked very hard, but there's nothing in the town records that says it's a town highway. There are VTRANS maps that have designated it as a town highway, but I think those maps are kind of made by information that they're given from somebody in Woodbury. So. At the moment, I don't really know um, if the town has any proof that it actually was a town highway. I, um, Diana found um, a, a, an old history of maps throughout the, under the VTRANS website starting back in 1931. Um, and of course, there weren't even numbers for, for town highways then, but uh, it, sometime in the 60s, they do start numbering them, and they're basically showing the old road, the one that you guys opened up this summer as, as a town highway. Um, and so, so that means that they worked on a town highway without town permission or? No, no? Um, it's not a town highway anymore. Um, <laughs> it, that basically became a, a historical road and when the oh, town chose yeah. not to hang on to those, um, that, that was gone so that just, reverts back to whoever owned the land that the road was on. Um, so, and the old, these old maps, like from 31, 41, right up until the early 80s, all show a very old map of the area with the roads. So, you know, I, I just don't have any trust in those maps at all um, to know whether or not that is a town road. I, I mean, I, have been going up to Nichols. You know, I should disclose, as I did at the last meeting, that I'm my family is also uh, has a camp on Nichols Pond, um, and you know, for 70 years, the road that we would use to get to our camp across the pond—that's um, basically how old I am since I was a kid—we um, would use the Nichols Dam Road. Um, so, and I didn't really even know there was another road until I started spending more time up there um, and, you know, kind of snowshoeing, skiing around in the, in the winter time. But, so there is a history that the town has had in maintaining that road. Um, um, it's got, I mean, I think we call it, I think the signs in our map say Nichols Camp, Nichols Camp Road. They might. But anyway, you would uh, know better than that. Yeah, I think the road, the sign that's there now does say Nichols Dam Road. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I would love, and I know that your Uncle John has long claimed that this is a private road, and I have no reason to disbelieve him or, or any of you. But well, well, let, let's hear what they, what they have for evidence or Well, that's argument. the thing. What I would love to do is both for the town and for you folks to see if we can come up with actual documents that that um, you know solve the the riddle that we're that we're John dealing with. John Meyer, I think it was in the nineties when you did the nine one one. That's when he did his whole thing mm -hmm. with, with the with the, uh, the road. Okay. And it was then put into a PVT at that point. It put, uh, put into a what? PVT. The sign was made, which oh, okay. was there, which was stolen, and we found it. The sign that's up there now. Mm -hmm. you know, Nichols mm -hmm. Dam Road. It's Nichols. Damn, right? P -P yeah. And then the gate, the red, the red gate was put up. I don't know how many years ago. Twenty-five oh, years. You, you may know. That was put up um, about uh, probably ten years ago. Um, I think that. Yeah. But with yeah. the Arctic Electric, EB High, the Nichols Pond Association. Yeah. And then there's the signs about mm -hmm. you know the, the hours for the dam. No, no fires. Yeah. And then the, the hours. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I do want to share that a big part of the frustration with the camp owners and, and um, you know, the, I think, I, for me, I think the main reason those gates are there is the abuse mm -hmm. of the dam. It's, you know, that is private property, um, whether it's a public road to it or not. Um, the the, the, around the dam? Yes, right. around the dam. It's, it's not owned property. by the Hardwick Electric? Uh, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. No, it's Just owned by, itself, huh? by, yeah, EB High. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's great in, in the daytime. People come up to canoe and kayak and maybe, mm -hmm. you know, it's sort of a town beach for Hardwick, really, in a way, with, you know, with kids swimming mm -hmm. at the dam. And then as late afternoon and evening, there's another crowd that shows up um, to basically spend a good part of the night and party. Um, there's usually a lot of drinking going on. Uh, so that's still a problem? It's been Maybe a problem. So the drug. Yeah, oh, cool. drugs now. Yeah, we um, don't want to talk about it here, but we, this summer, some incidents that, yeah. you know, it words, mm. not safe necessarily. But mm -hmm. yeah. Stereos blasting from trucks or cars, mm -hmm. um, fires, you know, there's a sign right there saying no fires. Um, and there's no enforcement. There's nothing that the camp owner, the camp owners can do. Um, you know, it's obviously a disruption at 2 a.m. in the morning when somebody's ripping up and down the road with their, you know, um, truck with the special mufflers to make a lot of noise. Um, One of the issues is we're on the back side of Washington County, so we call Berlin for police yeah. support. And yeah. They're going to come and help us. <laughs> right. yeah. Same so, with Westwood Berry. I mean, yeah, in the truth, they were vandalized up there where someone tried to break in. Mm -hmm. They went through a gate. You know. Did you say Tuesday? Tuesday, yeah. Last, Tuesday, Last week? Like yeah. But it's, you know. The state, try your best. The state police. Yeah, and the Hardwick won't come either. So. Hardwick won't come, come either because, because it's, it's, it's Woodbury. Um, mm -hmm. We don't have a contract with them. But also, the red gate you spoke of, mm -hmm. um, it was initially going to go up top, but it was put in that spot because at the time the Stonebill Trail was that fast, really. in that. Mm -hmm. right. Well, it was using the top part of the road. Mm -hmm. And now? And now the Stonebill Trail has moved okay. over. To basically to, to the, the old road, to the old Asian town road. road. Yeah. Okay. And now that is not mm -hmm. And a gate went up there because the you know, four wheelers will go anywhere that they so that's another issue. Although mm -hmm. Bassa goes on that what was Coit's Pond Road or, or continues the Coit's Pond yeah, Road. The road yeah, the Nichols Pond Road into yeah. Coit's right. Pond. Yeah, the, the yeah. ATVs can use any any class yeah, four road mm -hmm. unless there's a town ordinance saying that they can't. Mm -hmm. One of the issues with the gate up top, I believe, was because of the ice fishing. That was new last oh, last right. winter, mm -hmm. ice fishing. And so everybody was sort of bottlenecking as close as they could get, and they were parking on the road and sometimes blocking the road. Mm -hmm. We plowed our camp. So that was an issue. Mm -hmm. So the, the thought was to have everybody park at the top where there's more room, and then they can pull their you know, sled down with their fishing gear to the dam, actually. At the top, so the top. Where, where the top gate is, where there's more space, yeah. right, right there on the, where you turn off on the tee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because one camp owner had an issue of people always getting to the pond, ice fishing through their property, pulling a shanty, four-wheelers, snowmobiles. Mm -hmm. and they ended up, I think, posting their property. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was the best access, so of course everybody would use the, you know, quickest mm -hmm. route to the pond. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to deal with the ice fishing because that's new and where the people could park mm -hmm. and then they can pull their sled to, to the so, dam for access. So the state opened up this Correct. lake for, for ice time. fishing without any regard yeah. for the fact that how are people going to get there? That's Correct. true. Yep. And it's yep. opened every pond now. Yeah. yeah so those yep. new glass windows. Huh. Huh. And we talked to the fishing yeah. game and they came down and talked with them. Did you get anywhere with them about the the boat access being um, at the bottom of the road that you've opened up? Did they? It was sort of a primitive boat access. Where did not they? Yet, not, not yet. Not yet. No. Okay. So this new road is that something that those people, ice fishermen, can use to? Well, it's not going to be plowed. Half of it's well, going to be. It's going to be plowed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, uh, but that was the thought that they would. Walk, use that trail. Mm -hmm. It goes right to the dam. It's away mm -hmm. from the camp owners. Some of the camp owners will mm -hmm. get upset about their crossing their property. And if they go through the ice and have to get rescued, then it's on them. Right? There's no cell service. 
fact. <laughs> Actually, there, on my side of the pond, there is great cell service, which is an irony. Yeah. I don't you have it at home get here in South Woodbury, <laughs> but. Uh, Michael, I think there's always been a gate on that road in different places. Mm -hmm. Starting, there used to be a gate at the dam. At the dam, right. And then that was moved sort of to the top, or the mm -hmm. middle, to allow for the snowmobiles, and now it's been moved to the top. Mm -hmm. Really, it's it's for the safety of people not driving down there. Right. Um, and also, we've had a gate there, but over these years we haven't locked it, but we have. Mm -hmm granted access for certain times of the day so mm -hmm. that people could still access mm -hmm. the, um, the dam. Yeah. So, um, and again, the ancient road that we have sort of reopened up to get some logs out um, was the main road. That uh, was, was the public yeah. road. Mm -hmm. And that was part of the ancient road discontinued. Yeah. And the one, the camp road, has always been the private road. Right. And that was used years ago to pull logs out. Mm -hmm. But it has had a gate, well, it's been 60, 70 years where there has mm -hmm. been a present of a gate on that road for, for that time. But people have still been able to access the dam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, that was the, the gate that's at the bottom of the hill when that was first put up. But none of the gates have ever had a lock on them. Um, and there was a sign right there that told people um, the times that the you know, that the dam w would be open or that the gate would be open or um, the gate could be opened. Um, and we were told at the time after the dam was uh, uh, rebuilt um, um, that in order for any enforcement um, to happen down there, we had to have things to enforce. So there was a hours for the dam, which was like 5 a.m., I think, to 8 p.m. in the summer, maybe 9 p.m. would be more realistic, but um, and no fires, uh, carry in, carry out, trash, um, stuff like that. I mean, there used to be a trash barrel there, and somebody would dump all, all the trash and steal the barrel. Yeah. So you know, just things like that. Um, so um, yeah, I mean, as a <laughs> camp owner, and just you know, I think the real issue with Closing the road is trying to stop the behavior um, at the dam, um, not keep people from going down to the pond or using the pond, but the, it's the nighttime drug dealing, drinking, uh, loud music, gun shooting. I mean, it's, it's been pretty outrageous there, it kind of ebbs and flows. And that's been that way for, in my experience, at least 40 years, if not more. I don't remember as a kid you know, hearing a lot of noise from the dam, um, you know, when I was at, at our camp. Um, but um, since I've been, you know, there, I would say starting in the 80s, it started to be, I had a, I had a car actually vandalized on the dam yeah. one time. So um, how can you, if, if you say it's open, like, till 8 o'clock, how, how do you have people well, out of there? When, when, that, when the first, well, that's you can't the lock thing. the gate with people still down there. Oh, people, I know, I know Laura, who has the last yes. name, has tried for many years, but yeah. Mm -hmm. See, you hopefully yeah. people respect it, and you know, it's a give and take sort of thing. You're, you know, yep. use it, you know, don't don't abuse it, right? So yeah, the camp owners that the Taylor just mm -hmm. mentioned, mm -hmm. closest to the dam, closest to all the the noise and commotion, um, they would go down and and remind people that okay, so there's the sign and. And some people would politely leave, and other people would just tell them whatever you can imagine that people might tell them, and mm. they certainly were going to challenge them about that. And um, so, if so. it was, if if we you know discuss this and research it and all, mm -hmm. and determine that it is a private road, would that help that situation in the future? Well, then the the, the gate is gate definitely um, a valid thing to have there. Yes, I mean, and um, I, you know, yes, it's, that would help. I mean, I would love to know when that road was built, the the, the present road. Um, John Meyer claims in 1938. So okay. He started the log on the other side of Birch Point. That's okay. When he built that road across mm -hmm. the dam, started logging. 
Yeah, but that became the main. Then so all the using. all the camps have been built since then. Mm. Uh, I'm not too sure when some of those mm -hmm. camps on that side. I, I know think Cliff Means is right before. Yeah, the the old um, uh, right camp Justice was. I don't know. His was. That was, not, that was in the 40s and 50s. Yeah. 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 Um, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe. The Wright camp, I think, is the the former Wright camp, Virgil and Millie Wright, who yep. Cliff's, that was the first camp that Cliff owned. Um, I think that might have been the first camp built down there. I, I really don't know for sure. That's always been there since I can remember. Um, but so when John had that road built, he must have gotten some type of easements for the other property owners. Was that? Well, this is back in 38. OK. This is prior. This is prior to um, EB Hyde. Prior to EB Hyde, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but there were property owners that, I mean, people must have owned the property. I don't know when the Whitcombs owned, you know, bought that property. Um, yeah. So somewhere in some deeds, there might be some record of, of, you know, I mean, John must have negotiated. In some way, to to have that road go across um, different people's property, whoever owned it. Um, yeah, that would have been prior to John in the 30s, right? Yeah. Oh, so okay, yeah, so. Yeah. yeah. So then, prior to John, does that mean it wasn't Myers' property at that no, point? No, no. it wasn't. Okay. But the, but a road was built for for the log. That's what John Meyer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's when that Birch Point hole sort of thing was built to get logs out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I believe the dam area was a land that was the main land. Yeah. I don't know that old road that does go up to East Long. I remember there was old uh, log riprap in some of the wet spots from yeah. older logging. Um, so, yeah, so to me, it's just there's the inf issue of the dam and the enforcement or the lack of enforcement. Um, and then it's just trying to figure out from some kind of records, um, which, and it, you know, knowing the town or s some of the lack of town records, especially concerning roads, we may not ever be able to sort of solve this completely um, in a legal way legal way. Um, Did you ever find that guy, Robin? I'm still working on him. Okay. Okay. Um, and I certainly don't want to create a bad feelings or a legal battle with you guys at all. Um, I mean, the town has really benefited from your family, and I don't want to try to disrupt that at all. Um, but I would like to try to figure out that road a little bit. Is, um, are there any camp owners on that road that want it to be a town road? Not that we can speak for, but there are mm -hmm. probably ten, eight camp owners that on the road maybe. I don't know. Use that road. Yeah. Since maybe it would be something where you could just go through the process of discontinuing the road if, as a town road. That might clear it up. This this year, I mean, most camp you, you, you road roads the road, right? are private. Nicholas Bond Association yeah. paid him to fix the yeah. road. Yeah, yeah. The Nick former, actually, uh, the former right Chuck no longer the road commissioner. Is that correct? Alfie, he's he's new, Alfred is our. He's a lot more. I'll take the page then. I thought Chuck was going to be sitting here tonight. Oh, no, darn. No, okay. Not this time of year, anyway. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when when they would come and do Nichols Pond Road. Um, once every couple of years, but he would never go down there because he always said it's a private road. Yeah, and and we uh, maintain it, ditch mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. yep. water bars, yep. etc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's basically too too narrow, too small for the grader to mm -hmm. do much of anything mm -hmm. at this point, and they're, you know, um, it would need a lot of gravel to actually be. Mm. So is all of that road in Woodbury? None of it's in Highwick. Uh, it's all in Woodbury. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. So yeah, I don't know how. I mean, I'd, I would love to see if the Hardwick police, if um, and I, I doubt 
if this is even possible. You know, we we were con we were negotiating to have a contract with the Hardwick Police uh, during the pandemic just a couple of years ago, um, and then a good majority of their uh, police force left, um, and that sort of ended the talk about the contract. We were just about ready mm -hmm. to do that, mostly for enforcement here in town, but it could have included the dam. Um, and I don't know if the Woodbury could inquire if, if they would, if we could hire them to, when there are parties down there. Um, my guess is they, I don't know what they would say. We've tried. <laughs> Probably We've no. We've tried, yeah. Right. We have tried to do that before. We've tried to get the Lamoille County Sheriff to do enforcement in West Woodbury, and they won't cross yeah. their borders either, even though they're much more active than the Caledonia County. And the state police, you know, you might they're as well be just control. shouting there's in the woods. Short yeah, they're sure. I think there's like one or two troopers mm -hmm. for the whole of uh, the large area, in kind of northeast mm -hmm. kingdom area. And, you know, they've always mentioned, well, just call and let us know and we'll put a little red check mark there. And we got a bunch of them. We, you know, we might respond. <laughs> I know they did respond. Um, this was probably about, see, I think Kurt and Laura had were in that camp. So it was kind of within the last 10 years, there was a big high school drinking party there. So they called the state oh, police right, yeah. and said, there's a high school drinking party here. And the state police were there in 20 minutes. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> Got and some kids. Got some kids, <laughs> took all their keys and made them walk home or call their parents. And, um, and then the parents had to go down to Middlesex to get the keys. But after that happened, the dam was quiet for a while. I think mm. word got out, mm. but that's not the case anymore. Um, mm. About how many camps are on this row? Uh, we can count them, actually. Yeah, one, one two, two, three, two, three six, 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 yeah, eight, seven, seven, eight, eight yeah. Eight. Yeah, eight, eight, eight camps. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I, we're, we'd be glad to talk with you because mm -hmm. I obviously you know we, we've th there's a road that public uses a mm -hmm. private road that public uses to mm -hmm. access mm -hmm. the pond yeah um, and it's been controlled it's been a controlled access over time mm -hmm. you shut the gate during the day and say mm -hmm. there's hours in which you can go and there has been a gate so I think it, it appears from what we've heard that there's there's concern with the gate that's on top of the hill versus the gate that's been in the middle. The, the road has been gated. Yeah. And we've added the gate at the top mm -hmm. to help mitigate the things we're seeing now in the winter mm -hmm. of people coming down right. that chute in the right. winter. Mm -hmm. um, so in theory, nothing's really changed. We had a gate at the bottom, moved it to the mm -hmm. middle. Mm -hmm. We've added a gate at the top. Yeah. And that's been consistent. So, um, But at the same time, people have had access. We've mm -hmm. never shut. The, the access right. to the dam. So there's a balance of, of do you want it to go private where we mm -hmm. shut it for good mm -hmm. and take a chance, or is it a public road yeah. that has a gate at the very bottom of the property? So, mm -hmm. and we've, mm -hmm. I think there's a spirit of working to come up with a sort of a solution. That's that, what I would that, like that us helps. to be able to do is but, to kind of work um, this out. You know, one thought that just came to me is where that gate is at the top. Like, I, um, my wife and I uh, went up on Saturday so I could get my dock out of the water uh, just in time. Um, it was been on my list. Um, but there was somebody at the gate at the top of the road, um, a young couple. I think they were just looking to go down to the pond and they were unsure if they could open the gate. I mean, there is the sign giving the hours, mm -hmm. but if there was like maybe a more explicit sign that say that would say like access to the pond down this road is available from the time the different time frames so that it's totally clear to somebody when they get there that I mean that might be one part of the solution there is a designation for town road although this is not a we don't know if this is a town road of a, a, a pent road um, where there is a gate that's not locked, it's, it's basically what's set up there now. Um, so the town, you know, it, you know, we would only designate it as a pen road if we had absolute proof that it is a class four road for the town, um, mm. which I don't really think we have right at the moment. And, um, but I am going to try to find that out. Um, 
Um, but yeah, the, I mean, I think something that would, because this couple did not know, they just felt that the, there was a gate there, they couldn't, couldn't go down. And um, so I, I told them that the pond is open, access to the pond is open, um, and I opened up the gate to get down there myself. Um, but then they drove up towards the ledge and pulled off, and I, I think they went hiking in the woods or something. I'm not sure what they did. But, um. Yeah, there is, I mean, people do see the lake on the map, and they would like to check it out. I mean, I remember talking with some people at the M&M Market. It's a couple of obviously city guys in a big black car who just nosing around, and they saw this, so we told them how to get there. <laughs> I don't know what they did when they got there, but... Mm. Um, <laughs> Or the if they web, even found it. Websites yeah. As a, as a short yeah. hike. You yeah. know, like oh, you well, Nickel's Ledge, yeah. 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 There's no, no limiting that. That's right on the Class 4 road. But sometimes people want to look at the lake. And, and I understand you've had problems with people poking into your in property there. Well, and yeah. You, you, Kagan. I mean, and, Google Maps, it sends them, yeah. it says the ledge is that. Right down the road at the point. Right. That's where they, they, they <laughs> go. They, they show you this is the ledge. Yeah. Oh, right, they yeah. They swear that they're, they're on the ledge, but they're not. Like, Google, or, yeah, they know Florida everything. Yeah. Right yeah. Yeah. Just, and, and Google Maps do direct people coming from Cabot to go go along that road up to the ledge and then down. And, of course, the Woodbury side is pretty rough, and there have been some mm. people on that road that, with the car they had, were mm. wishing that they weren't on that road and you know, they would one incident that I remember when I was walking up the road is somebody asked me, how long does this road continue like this? And where the hell am I? <laughs> so I told them. Yeah, I think Cabot keeps their end of it a little better. Than well, it's a class three does. road is for Cabot right challenge? up to the, to the parking for the mm -hmm. ledge. Yeah. Oh. Michael, when, um, as we work through this, you mentioned signage. Signage might be the next reasonable step. I think something that would clarify it, because the people that I met, the couple that I met, definitely yeah. felt that they couldn't go down there. So. And, and in Vermont, usually if you go through a gate, you close the gate, or your cows are going to get yeah. out. Well, maybe right. in the old so days. I don't know easy, about now. <laughs> but there, there may be some signage that can be put on there that, mm -hmm. again, sort of helps regulate mm -hmm. the seasonal and during the day. Right. People could still access in certain times of the day and year. Mm -hmm. That we wouldn't, you know, that's we've never obstructed that. Yeah. For the ice fishing, we had talked about making signs with arrows saying "ice fishing this way," so people okay, so people stay on the stay you know, on trail the down to the dam, dam mm -hmm. instead of yeah. fearing off. That mm -hmm. was yeah. thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, I think part of it is the fact that VTrans has shown that road as a class four road, and again, I don't know if it is or not, but um, so that's you know when people call to complain, they say, you know, on the V-Trans map, um, it's called, it's designated as a class four road. So I'd like to, that's one of the things I'd like to clear up. If it is a private road, then we should obviously let V-Trans know that it isn't a class four road. Um, and they, they even have the driveway that goes down to the Whitcombs and Cliffs as a class four road. Um, and, you know, that's... They have a road on Cahagian that they call Island. Right, Island Road. Mm. There's, 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 it it's that piece. loop, yeah. yeah. Well, that, when we uh, were doing the E911 thing, well, it was 20 years ago or mm. something, any road, private right. road that had more than mm. two locations on it had to have a name, and that's where the Island Road came from, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because we were running out of names at some point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's definitely not labeled as a town road. So. No, uh, um, but it's on the map. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> So, yeah, I think that signage up at the top, um, that would be helpful just so that it's clear to people that they can go down there. And then um, let's just try to figure out, I, I mean, I think it's that up to the town to try to, to establish whether or not that's a class four road. Um, so, um, you know, maybe, I don't know if Paul Gillis is still around, if he might no. be able to help us. Um, we can get Michael Tarrant. He's, <laughs> Yeah, but he did a lot of research. And so we'll research that um, to just to see, just to know. Um, if there's no record of it, then um, it's not a town road, and, and we'll contact VTrans and let them know that. So. Um, so 
I just want to jump in here. I can't. Okay. I was late because your website says various locations. I've for what? Gone free, free meeting. I don't know how long you've had your select board meetings here. I went down with mm -hmm. town clerk. Okay. Yeah. That's why I'm late. I missed my slot. But since you're on roads, I really have a complicated question, and I I need to deep dig deep into this. Every ten years, I ask you. I ask you, what about my road? My road is a town road to the bridge. You will maintain my bridge. You've done it a couple of times. Mm -hmm. I just pumped a whole lot of money into maintenance. I just don't understand. You have to maybe dig a little deeper for me or you tell me what to, where to dig. I so, should be maintained and plowed and maintained. I, you know, I don't know how many times the bridge has to be pulled and it's a You're class, responsible for that. The, the town, a town is responsible for culverts, bridges, and nothing else on a Class 4 road. Your road is designated as a Class 4 road. I don't think you'd want our trucks going over your bridge. Why not? It's You're got big and heavy. <laughs> they're put a wide. culvert in then, put a culvert in like you've done they're, in other places. Yeah. So there are many other Class 4 roads in town, and if we start plowing yours, yes. then everybody else who lives on a Class 4 road is going to want their road plowed. So it's, it's setting a precedent, and the town is not obligated to plow Class 4 roads. If um, you own up to the bridge, you'd have to go across the bridge to turn around. But we, it's Class 4 road all the way from the Cabot Road to your to the bridge. Yes. Yeah. So, and the town basically doesn't really plow Class 4 roads. What is Dan Charnas's driveway? Class 3. Class 3. Class 3. Yep. <clears throat> so I'm above that. I've maintained that for 50 years. If the road was maintained or brought up to uh, Class 3 road status, um, and that has happened in town, the Bailey Bridge Road, people that were living there paid to have the road um, improved to a Class 3 status, um, and they made a, an agreement with the town that if they did that, that the town would then maintain the road as a Class 3 road, um, which towns are obligated to plow. What's um, it going to cost me to bring it up? Then? A lot of money. Um, you'll have to consult with our road commissioner. He'll tell no, you. No, you'd what have you, to consult you, with a private and, contractor. Well, what now? If you if you wanted to upgrade that road to class three, you'd have to hire somebody. Oh yeah, I get They're that. Not gonna, I've yeah, pumped okay. a lot of money into that road over the right. forty-five, okay. fifty years. So you know what that stuff costs. What now? Yeah. So you know that what that stuff costs. I don't know. Oh, I'm okay. Gonna, Sorry, I'm going to write a grant. Go right ahead. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry about jumping in. So, on do that you part. have any do, any reason to think that John might have some records? Oh, well, John, he, yeah, he probably does. Yeah. Because he went to the town, as I said. Before, yeah, he, yeah. He has all the history. Yeah, John why, is a, why he a good a historian of roads. Mm -hmm. right? the if, if you could ask John if he does yeah, he have. He lives in most of the time in Florida. In Florida, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, he still has a place in Vermont? I think he sold it to his daughter. Yeah. Yeah. So as, much, as far as his stuff, his records and stuff, it might be. It's all up here. Who yeah. knows where. <laughs> <laughs> you really want to soak that guy? I don't know. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> there may be records, too, from meetings here because it was part of the 911 sign. Oh, that's interesting. Where, yeah. There might be the town mm -hmm. agreed to it mm -hmm. as a private mm -hmm. road, which prompted the private road sign mm. that was put up by the town. Uh -huh. um, so um, there may be minutes mm -hmm. if we could yep. dial in the mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. when it was that might help to mm -hmm. at least unravel the thought process that the select board went through right. at the time mm -hmm. designated as a private yep. road. Mm -hmm. So um, so I guess basically the town's gonna try to do its end to to determine whether the status of that road. If you guys find anything anywhere that would help um, clear this up, um, that would be great. We'll share it and, um, uh, and we'll kind of keep each other updated on, on this. I, I think for now, just some kind of clarification with the signage at the top right. would be, you know, and, and probably at some point, we'll have some ice on there for people to get down there to ice mm -hmm. fish. Uh, so, um, 
Um, I think that's. Do you have any thoughts, Dan? That's kind no, of. I do. I I can't picture where this new road is. Is it like? It's, you mean you mean the ancient road? That, yeah, the one that you've that what? you've opened up for. Is it like on the right. Hardwick side of, of yeah, the right camp road? It's, yeah. it's like fifty right feet away. It, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, pretty much. Okay. 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 That mass use part. That use is part of it, the top of, upper end. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. To the power line, and then. Oh. It's no more trouble. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take a ride up. <laughs> Check it out. Did you get up to check it out at all, Alfie? I did. You did? Yeah. I did. Yeah. Any? Actually, Greg and I took a yeah. ride yeah. to look. Um, and Greg seems to think that it is a class four. Mm -hmm. And we looked at the state map, and it is on the state map mm -hmm. as class four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whether that's accurate or not, I'm not saying that, either way. Yeah. It is, it is on the map yeah. as class four. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very new at this. I, the, today was the first day that I even see that road or knew it was that knew that it existed. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've got a lot to learn, and I'm <laughs> totally willing to learn as we go move forward with this. Mm -hmm. uh, two issues that come to my mind mm -hmm. with with the gate: one is fire trucks. If there's eight camps down there, there's a possibility there's going to be in need of a fire truck. One thing to think about. The other thing is Hardwick Electric. Whether they own it or not, they still have to maintain it. Mm -hmm. They must have put a right of way of some sort in place. Yeah, Hardwick uh, Electric was the name of signs. When we did the signage mm -hmm. in the gate, Hardwick Electric, I think, supplied the post. So yeah. whether mm -hmm. they have a key or have somehow they have to have yeah. uh, access in there. That's yeah. right. Our fire department all likes to have a key to all the private yeah. camp and roads that have gates. Well, there's, there's no key. Lock. Lock. There's no locks. Lock. 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 Oh. Lock. You're there's not no going to lock it? Oh. But it still needs to be in the thought process. Yeah. You know, right. in the event of a fire. Definitely yeah. don't want to know. Yeah. So it's huh. another reason for you to plow the roads for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I'll actually have a key. I'm going to work with you guys. <laughs> yeah, in, in the old days when I used to live at our camp on Nichols, the last road to get in there that was plowed was down. It's the Hardwick Road, uh, the bend in the road, and then the, what? I sort of call it Cahagan Road now. That's where I would park my car, and then it was a snowshoe in to camp to to get in and out. And I loved it. I love that isolation. <laughs> so now the road has been creeping in closer and closer, which is fine. And now there are people on ice fishing all day long up there. So. So, so is this gate wide enough for a fire truck to get through? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. The new one it looks pretty wide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. So yeah, let's. Kind of but yeah, anytime we walk yeah. down there, or any ideas? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, try to figure sure, this yeah. out. Sure. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. okay. Thanks for coming so we could actually talk about it with you. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. that's very helpful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we'll just, you know, if we find out anything or if you have anything to, to share to kind of clear up um, some of the the unknowns mm -hmm. about this and um, and if we do find out it is a private road we'll let VTrans know to no longer designate it as a class 4 road um, or if we decide it's best to have it designated as a class 4 road that's true I mean with the use public use there is uh, you know some lawyers could argue that it should be considered a town road but um, I really don't personally don't want to get into some legal battle about this. So, um, I mean, but except that is, for the camps on Route 14, almost every other camp in town is on a private road. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Yeah, also got the, the fish and wildlife, too. Right. They just it, open it up to the public for fishing, mm -hmm. and now the public can't go use it. I mean, maybe they want to change their their thoughts also. Right. Mm. I mean, the, yeah, yeah, the dam has sort of always been the unofficial boating access, um, fish and wildlife boating access. Mm. They've never really had a sign there, but, um, you know, of course in the winter the road was never plowed down to the dam, so, um, mm -hmm. and nobody went in in the winter to fish because there, it was uh, closed waters. So the ice fishing last winter for the first time ever, you know, since I can remember, did open up another can of worms mm. as far as getting down there. So. 
Do you know who owned this before the 1938 Myers? Uh, Beattie. Beattie? Beattie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beattie. Uh-huh. I had some Beattie family in my history. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Can we move on to Carol? I am Carol. I'm not getting my rope. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, That's uh, well, no. I um, I just have a town um, petition to increase the budget for uh, the Woodbury Callus food shelf signed by all of the community, more so than we need. You can double check. You found it? Yeah. Oh, okay. really? Where was it? It went home with someone. Oh, okay. Oh, day. nice. Oh, wow. oh, okay. So I have tons of uh, signatures. So you can give that to Rob and then she'll check the names? Yeah, yes. you'll check. I, I know mm -hmm. I have enough. You said 38, 40, something like that. I've got more than that. Yeah. Um, oh. you, you may have. I'm sorry. You didn't have to come. I thought you were coming because you didn't, because you lost your survey and you wanted some, some blessing. Uh, Without a well, I could have come anyway, but I went to the wrong place because I didn't know you changed locations. So yeah. We've been meeting here for a, a couple, year. I don't know couple what years. I've been then. in front of you in a couple of years. No, I don't ask for much money. Yeah. <laughs> Every ten years, though, I'm yeah. going to bring the bridge up. Do you, ever think, <laughs> do you ever think of doing any fundraising for the, the, the bridge? The bridge? The bridge? <laughs> yes, I have thought about that. No. I don't need that. I have mm -hmm. plenty of support from the community mm -hmm. in Callis. Yeah. Um, Cabot refused. Mm -hmm. Well, I no, I called them up because we haven't had anyone coming from Cabot. I mm -hmm. nixed the funding from them because I, I don't want to ask for money mm -hmm. if I'm not having any clients mm -hmm. from, mm -hmm. Ca um, yeah. from Cabot. So mm -hmm. it rests on our shoulders and Callis's. Mm -hmm. And I have to bring up, Callis has this incredible form, not like going door to door one pager it says why do you want an increase tell me what your problem is done deal no one in Calis has to go around and sign a petition well that's nice for them would you, well would you like that that information what because the information of how Calis does it yeah we don't go there <laughs> <laughs> what? what you don't go there the application for somebody like me I, I, I'm not if you had asked anymore. us carol we in the past we have treated the food shelf more like a town function rather than an out of town nonprofit seeking appropriation. So yeah. you know whether you needed a permit or you know a survey or not, I think it's nice to do it to get the petitions to to get the signatures. People are but, for it, and you'll yeah. see that. But yeah. I mean, you could shorten my process down by a whole lot if. Yeah. That application, fill it out and mm -hmm. say, why you want the increase? What's the problem here? Mm -hmm. It comes before you, you, you vote it or not. I mean, mm -hmm. it's up to you. I know it'll be approved. I'm not worried, but I'm just saying <laughs> the process. Yeah, we do could, it for one, you know, we have people coming from miles away asking for money year after year. And uh, I have to put a limit on it. I mean, usually it ends up being about... Ten thousand dollars total in the tax rolls, and that's you know, I, they're all providing good service. But if we open it up, totally. I mean, the reason they put a petition, a, a procedure in a few years ago was I don't know why it was. I wasn't on the board at the time, but now we have that. No, I do understand that, but mm -hmm. I'm saying this is a community thing. Yeah, well, that's what I said. All you of you asked, people, <laughs> half of you people in this room signed that petition. Yeah. It is not like it's going, you know, to mm -hmm. five different towns. It's yeah. not like that. I'm just saying the process is a little encumbersome. If I had to go door to door, I wouldn't have done it. I would have just mm -hmm. said, okay, forget it. We do need the increase. Mm -hmm. We would like support, and I got it. Mm -hmm. I would say that you need to listen to that, and mm -hmm. I would say that it could be a shorter process is all I'm saying. You could have mm -hmm. a separate procedure for in-town like I said, if you had asked us, do I really need this because I'm just a little town organization, I'm not Washington County Mental Health asking for $1,000, we might have said, don't bother, but it's done, so, so let's yeah, move no, on. So, yeah, no, I take the process, but I'm just saying it, <laughs> it was a little nerve-wracking because I lost the petition yeah, and I came was... back, and, oh, but I had enough, I figured I had enough, and then I was just yeah. going to come here and cry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 
Well, I can just tell you that I, I mean, I'm glad the pantry is doing well. I, I happen to open the mail for the Hardwick Food Pantry, and people are incredibly generous. Incredibly generous. So, you know, if you ever find more, you can always just send out a letter, and maybe people would give you more money so you can buy more food. <laughs> Mm -hmm. If they're if your clients are happy with what they have, then that's good. Yeah. Good. Some of them also come to Hardwick, so. Right. It's <laughs> and people from Cabot come to Hardwick too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Cabot has their own food shelf. Yeah. Oh, they do now. Yes. Oh. They've had it for a while. That's oh. why I stopped asking for oh, money. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because nobody's coming to Woodbury. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't think it's right to ask for money if I'm not. I don't. Mm -hmm. if I'm not sure. Right. So. Right. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Done deal. Okay. Although I want my roadblock. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. That, that's another discussion. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So um, next on the agenda is uh, a road report. Um, and the. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the road report. I'm sorry, I jumped topic. <laughs> Which we've already sort of work, been working on a little bit um, with the Nichols Dam Road. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure why the update for the village stormwater project is there with the road report, but um, mm -hmm. uh, I can give an update on that after. We'll let Alfie have the floor here for, mm -hmm. for the moment. <laughs> uh, not a whole lot to report. Um, we've had some weather and we've dealt with it, mm -hmm. I think. Um, the truck that we are changing motors on, mm -hmm. hopefully, will be running tomorrow. You uh -huh. kidding me? Yeah. Wow, that was yeah. fast. This guy really got on it and really? stayed with it. Wow. And hopefully, we'll hear it run tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's great. It's all swapped. The two motors have been taken out, and uh -huh. the good one put back in, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and it's just hooking up a few, a few more things tomorrow. And yeah. And all the rest of the stuff on the truck still works. Yes. <laughs> Yes. The new truck, I mean, the, yeah, the second well, truck. The, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's mainly, cool. right now, it's set up for chloride because that's what it was uh, yeah. set up for in the fall. Oh. Um, but we had the problem with the motor, so we, mm -hmm. didn't, we didn't strip it down. Mm -hmm. We probably will take the tank off and just get it ready in case we need it for winter mm -hmm. use. Um, but but that's that's going to be good to have, to have a spare truck. Mm. For yeah. if one of one of our those yeah. break down mm -hmm. or or who knows what mm -hmm. may happen, we get a mm -hmm. huge storm and mm -hmm. we'll put another guy in the truck. Um, so that's sort of mm -hmm. what we've been working on, trying to help him along to mm -hmm. save money, and we're there anyway. So who would you hire? Um, Keith, I think his name is. I'm not going to get his name right. Um, He's a legitimate business. No, oh, well, never mind. He's from, <laughs> he's from I wouldn't know. Uh, up north. Uh huh. Uh, he's got a big truck, lots of uh -huh. tools. He's yeah. he's very good. Very good. good. Um, so, other than that, we are putting sand when we need, plowing when we need. Truck seems to be working fine. Um, West Woodbury. West Woodbury is my route. Yeah, so been up there. I've been up there several times. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the low pro uh, takes that because it's four wheel drive. Mm -hmm. And Greg had bought uh, studded tires mm -hmm. for it, so they're working. I haven't had any problems Great. getting around at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. At first there was a little issue because I wasn't sure, I didn't know that the buses went up there. Oh. So I was doing the roads around in the village first, oh, and oh. then going up there. Oh, whoops! And the bus mm. company called and said, oh. "Hey, what about us?" <laughs> <laughs> so I have I have switched my route around, so I'm up there first, and then I have mm. small roads. Mm. Um, so it's it's sort of a learning curve. Uh, lots of roads that I haven't traveled, and mm -hmm. lots of systems that I haven't uh, been involved with, but <laughs> we're getting there. And but only half as many. Miles of roads is that's callous. Right. That's so. very true. That's very true. And I, I handled um, 86 miles of road for callous. Mm. So your 39 is very easy. Doable. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, everything, as far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. everything's going quite well. Right. 
Did you? Michael was going to ask you and Greg to sit down with that budget sheet yep. and go over some yep. stuff. We did. You did already. Yep. Okay. Yep. I don't know if you want me to just leave it with you or I you guess want to go so. over it now. Well, there's not. I mean, there's not a lot of changes. Uh -huh. There was some one particular that I had a question about. Um, <clears throat> And because it's for next year, it's uh, it's West Woodbury. We had a line item for West Woodbury. Oh, yeah. And you budgeted seven thousand dollars for it. Oh, that's right. So I don't know. I mean, I personally would like to revisit that issue with mm -hmm. Hardwick mm -hmm. because I, I I know there's contention, and I know that you know uh, for whatever reason. Mm -hmm that become not an option for them to do it. But I also know how much it costs for us to drive a truck mm -hmm. for 10 miles just to do a half an hour job. Mm -hmm. So while we're doing the budget, I just thought, you know, maybe I would put a question mark that to that and we could have a discussion to see if. Sure. I thought we'd you know. close that off by buying the tires and, yeah. and all that stuff. Well, now you've got a new kid on the board. <sighs> <laughs> with new ideas. Yeah. And, uh, oh, man. I'm not saying I'm pushing. I'm not. I am really not. It's still, I, just, yeah. I just think that, I just think Hardwick goes right by there. They're mm -hmm. right there. They yeah, are, the road ends mm -hmm. halfway up. So maybe a little more negotiating, we might be able to get an agreement. Mm -hmm. um, and there might have been some misunderstanding, too. I understand that that $12,000 that they proposed mm -hmm. was for summer grading also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you include that, uh, $12,000 doesn't seem like a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Summer grading and winter maintenance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I just put a question mark to it because if we're not going to do that, then we can save $7,000 out of the budget. We don't need to put that in. I, I mean, if you want to... I think wanna... that that's in this year's budget, right? So it, yeah, yeah, it was budgeted I, for I, 2020. And I, yeah, I think we had to... Did we pay them? I wasn't on the select board when didn't we pay them seven thousand dollars for something? Seems like we I don't did. think so. Yeah, Seems that's, like we that's did. my memory. That's why yeah. that seven thousand is there. Is it in the actual column, or the? Uh, it is in the budgeted, not in the budgeted. actual. Okay, not mm -hmm. in the actual. So I think get, I th uh, apparently it didn't get paid. Okay. It was budgeted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that was so some. There was a lot of. We there build was, a new budget. Yeah. Do we put it in or don't we put it right. in? Or do we yeah. can we come up with a number to put it in? Um, you know, I, this is I'm just speaking personally for myself as a select board member. If you if you wanted to try to open up nego a new, new negotiation with them, um, I would say yeah, go for it. Um, yeah. and, and I would say wait till next year. Uh huh. Well, yeah, it's kind of yeah for the winter. See how it goes. For, for this you, you know, it might be yeah, hard to no, change. I'm not saying try it for this winter. Yeah, we've got an agreement for this winter, yeah. but the, we're talking about next year's mm -hmm. budget. Yeah, the next fiscal year won't yeah. start until uh, July first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, but we have to budget for it now. So we do have to budget for it now. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So and I know that Greg is definitely not interested in negotiating that. I've got that right. from him right. several times. Well, he has uh, some feelings towards the Hardwick yeah. road crew that I know about, so yeah. I can understand that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But it just, I mean, my logic says there's a truck right there. Let's right. try to work it. For years yeah. and years, I understand that Hardwick well, did Well, it take did, and I don't know what, what happened. Well, it, uh, a new town manager, new town manager is what happened, to, uh, yeah. basically. Yeah. Open it up, and, and then the select board, one of the select board members who said that uh, they thought that Woodbury had been cheating them all these years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that, so sad. I don't know who actually said that, but it I was. Do. <laughs> okay, all right, well, we probably That's should okay. not mention any names. I but. saw it on HCTV. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So then there was just some other ones that we were, I looked at the budgeted to actual and some were over. So I, mm -hmm. it seems like that should be raised. Raised up. Mm -hmm. So okay. I just wrote that in yep. to, mm -hmm. to the potential mm -hmm. budget. So if you want this, okay. you're welcome to. And then we don't have to spend a lot of time talking about it tonight. 
Uh, yeah, we could just take it and we'll mm -hmm. look at it next time we have a budget meeting and we'll, yeah. we'll probably want to sit down with you at some point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thanks for coming. Right. Thanks. Bye. See you up here. Yeah. So all these ones that are blank, you just think the same? Keep the same. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. Um, anything else? That, um, the Better Roads Grant, what, um, yes. and I left you a phone message mm -hmm. this morning. I knew I wouldn't catch you because uh, you guys were out plowing, but um, that is a competitive grant. The grants and aid is, that's a certain amount of money that the town gets every year. So the application is kind of a, a formality. Wow. Yeah. Um, but this one is competitive. Um, and I'm just, you know, with the sections that we wanted to connect, that are hydraulically connected, um, that were connected to that steep gradient where definitely some work should be done. Um, yeah. They're all listed as low risk, which um, tends to mean, um, uh, well, it's at the bottom of the p concern pile for, um, sure. so I'm not sure if we would, we, we could still submit it. I'm not sure if we would get get the grant. That's um, and with you know just till the end of the week to to finish it to get it submitted. Um, right. um, I mean, they, they didn't give us a lot of time. They no one week. One week. Really? Was, you know, one week. So. I mean, Robin just forwarded it to to us today, um, and you found it. What, Thursday or Friday? I was going to say, I think it came in on Friday. Friday. Yeah. 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 Which is and then when they tell you you got to have it ready by the next Friday. The next Friday. Friday right? Yeah. So yeah. Didn't give us a mm -hmm. lot of time. I mean, I'm yeah. fine with just holding off on it if uh -huh. I want. Um, it was just, you know, I see a grant and I'm like, wow, there's an opportunity mm -hmm. to save mm -hmm. the town money mm -hmm. and maybe we can pull it off. Yeah. Um, but if the chances are less likely to be able to receive the grant, then maybe it's not worth the effort. Well, the, it, that's always, you know, you don't know with with this type of grant. You, well, I, do rem, I do remember a Better Roads grant that we were trying to fix the flooding of the annex building here, a grant that we submitted that, um, that we didn't get. Um, and then the other, the one to work, to finally do the work, there, uh, after we had actually had somebody kind of design a plan for how to fix all of the situations uh, at the bottom of the Valley Lake Road here. Um, and we did get the grant for that. That was work that was done last summer or the summer before, I can't remember now. Um, and we had a, you know, we didn't even come close to the amount of money that we could have spent for that. Um, so if I mean, I've done quite a bit of the work for that already. Um, what I would need is a sense of what you would do on those segments that are hydroelectrically connected, yeah. so that I could write that into the um, into the grant. Um, okay, M most of it is just cleaning the ditches, mm -hmm. and I would have to be clear as to which sections there that that are connected. Mm -hmm. to know if there are culverts that need to be changed also. Right. So the the roads, the sections that are connected are just above the Gowans house where the road kind of does that sort of S bend. Mm -hmm. yeah. The right, right, I mean it's connected all the way up to the four corners from there, but that's where it starts, just before the Gowans house coming down the hill. Um, that's where the hydroelectrically connected sections start. Um, okay. Would it be helpful to meet there? It, it would be, although I really don't have, no, um, I don't have the time to do that the rest of the week. Okay. That's the catch um, yeah. for me, but I mean it is, if you could just give me a sense of what might be done there, materials, you know, because we were looking at the that steep gradient. Down below. Yeah. Right. If you could figure that out and just send me, either leave a, a voice message on my phone or an email, um, yeah. then I could add that those materials um, to it, and um, and we'll you know we could try to we'll just I think we could. Okay.
I could have that ready by Friday to submit. Okay. I think. So I'll just I'll start at the gallons and go up. Up. And yep. Give you measurements yep. and, what, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. work that needs to be done. Yeah, and pretty much that it's just that section where the road does those double bends. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, those will be. I think there there are five sections there on the on the A and R map, and you know we could do all of them. Or I think I've. So far, right at the moment, I have four of them listed. Because um, that was my initial thought of that's where, yeah. where you guys wanted to work. Um, and, then, uh, and then when I went up and to... The pictures showed a different The picture, <laughs> picture, wait a minute, I, I, right. uh, yeah, that's not <laughs> where it is. So. Yeah, okay, um, so I can get more pictures too. Okay, and, and I, can go up, I can go up with my camera too and, and do that. Cause, okay. Um, that way, I, I don't know how to take the the iPhone pictures that you sent me and separate them and present them. Um, I'm oh. not quite sure how to do that. But, okay, but so we'll, maybe it's more efficient for you to just get yeah. the pictures. Yeah, yeah. I okay. can do that, yeah. Okay. And I would probably take them kind of based on what your thoughts are on what would happen to, to those segments of road, what, what the road crew would do for work and yeah. just try to, to show that a little bit. Yeah. And you just need individual photos? He sent them as a I can, I can separate them if you want. Ah. If you send them as an album to you, as a text, it's, you, if you download it onto a computer, it's yeah. easy to do. Right? It is easy to do? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I've never done that. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, happy to help with that. But okay, well. <laughs> you can airdrop it to it. If, you, if you're a Mac person, you can airdrop it. I'm not it. a Mac <laughs> person. I'm a reluctant <laughs> computer person in general. Yeah, I know. That's right. <laughs> Well, if you want to save a camera trip, I'm happy to have somebody email it to me or text it to me, and I'm okay. happy to send it to you. Okay. And you can make it into nice individual. Yeah. I can put it into a PowerPoint presentation if you uh -oh. want. Uh -oh. <laughs> Maybe just a Word document. <laughs> so one other issue that I'll just, I don't think it's an issue. I don't think it's going to come to mm -hmm. anything, but I just want you guys to be aware of it um, on Maple Road. Mm -hmm. The fellow that's got a woodworking shop, mm -hmm. David uh, George Sawyer, George Sawyer yeah. shop, mm -hmm. uh, continues to park in the road, and it's really narrow as it is. And then if you're trying to get through with a plow truck, yeah. uh, I don't want to hit a car. I don't mm -hmm. want to. I don't want to have that. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants that. Yep. I, I have stopped to talk to him, and yep. he said that his last class was Monday mm -hmm. today. Today. His so, what? His last, last class. class. Oh, does, okay, he, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He teaches furniture building, yeah, so yeah. he's got students coming, and I get it, the parking. Yeah. yeah. But Limited. we also need that road to be clear for, for right. traveling. Mm -hmm. He's been asked by Chuck, mm -hmm. by Greg, and I think I've talked to him Michael's also. Talked mm -hmm. to him. Yeah. So he's getting the word, but he's not doing mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. So I'm just. I want to mm. see what he does now that I've talked to him, and then we then we it's time to do mm -hmm. some enforcement because mm -hmm. we got to be able to get the truck through there. Yeah. This morning mm -hmm. I tried to plow through there, and I you have to in order to make the truck small you have to pull everything up. So mm -hmm. now we're leaving a, a bunch of snow in the road. It's not fair to mm -hmm. other people mm -hmm. to travel that road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just to let you guys know, mm -hmm. hopefully he'll do something to provide for parking for because he's got an investment he's got a shop there he's going oh, yeah. to continue it's, even right. if this is his last class for now he's going to have more people right. Coming. Yeah. Right. so he needs to establish a, a parking area yeah, mm. yeah and i know that mm. chuck talked to him about that too mm. um this summer and, and it and the parking area mm. didn't happen but yeah yeah all the money he's put into that place i think he need to be able to use they, it. They should have planned on some parking. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's got that field. Oh, yeah, right yeah. below. Right yep. behind, his, behind his building. If you mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. excavator and a little bit of gravel, and he's got it made. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there is a lane on the side mm -hmm. of the building to get down to there, so. Yeah. 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 I mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, just to make you aware. I've talked yep. to him. We had a nice conversation, yeah. and he said he was, this was his last, uh, the end of Class that. for um, the. So, hopefully, it'll get The better, end of this but, week? You mean, or? Today. Today, today was oh, the last, okay. the last okay. day. Yeah. But today happened to be the day that I was plowing. The day that it snowed, <laughs> yeah. Because Mother Nature doesn't have any, doesn't, doesn't a way for his class to end. Yeah. <laughs> so, but just to let you, just to make you as aware. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So that's all I have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any questions or any issues? Well, I mean, I need to know. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. want to know. Okay. Did yeah. you ever get your laptop? A laptop? No. 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 Where do I go Where to the office for that? Or? Well, the select board, that select board laptop that Skip Marcassani got for us to yep, use. Yep, it's in the vault. It's in the vault. Mm -hmm. um, I'll, I'll get it down there. Um, yeah. I know Chris was going to bring it down. Um, you, I mean, you could go to the office. Need, need some tinkering. I'm some yeah. Yeah, I don't, and I don't know what's been. Skip right. Marcassani did put some stuff on there, but there was no. Uh, like passcode to open it up, I don't think. Mm -hmm. um, and Skip is very busy right now with his wife back yeah, in the hospital. Yeah, she's so. so. Well, it's, I mean, things are working fine. Okay. But there is a laptop okay. there. The main but. reason I need that is for an employee confidentiality. Oh, okay. You know, if right. I need to communicate with you about mm -hmm. a certain employee, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it needs to be in confidence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to still send one to your employees down to sign the paper. Hmm? Which one? Tim? Tim hasn't come in and signed the paper yet? Oh. Oh. Okay. I do remember that, but it came to me second hand. Yeah, I left a message with so, Greg last week, and he yeah. and then Tim was out for a couple days, and so... It's not that I'm making excuses, but if, if it's something that needs to come to me, it just needs to come to me. Have you been getting emails no. from me? No, ma'am. Well, then the garage email address does not work. Because I have sent you mm -hmm. uh, probably six or so of them. Oh. oh. What it was was the letter that we wrote after we had that meeting where we yep. gave them yep. the three months extension. No, you wouldn't have had any. You wouldn't have, you wouldn't have seen that. So... Um, but I left it right, with Robin. I don't know what the emails that the six. Oh emails yeah, that's something that else. I haven't. Unless because yeah, they're garage going to right. garage at woodburyvt.org. Yep. Is the email address I got for you? And that did work. I did send. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you. Yeah. You unless, unless Greg's seeing them and. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And mm -hmm. and you know dealing, mm -hmm. hopefully dealing with them, but I I'm not aware of them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'll send you one tomorrow. I'll be yes. eyes only. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I just <laughs> and we could, you know, we could get that laptop to you, and you could just see if you can use it. Um, and then we would probably should set up a whole special email for Alfie rather than the garage one. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, so we might have Who to. Who does that? That. that one. Ben Witt, Witty? Uh, yeah, I thought well, he, we were going to get rid of him. I mean, I thought we were going to do a whole new website, but I guess that's just Well, people would like us to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but he did set up that. Keegan's anxious to help with that. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> um, he did set up the, the new, I mean, there used to be a different address to the garage. Right, right. When we switched from Comcast. To, yeah. And so Ben Witt did set that up, the, the new address, mm -hmm. and for the town clerk and the treasurer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe what you could do, you could send me an email so I can see how it's coming from you. Right. See what I'm it saying? It still be that same, the same address. It still will be that same email address. Yeah, it would. Greg's, yeah, should. Greg's email yeah. address. Yeah. Hmm. Clerk at... But I, I can still try that. I can still try that with Greg's email address. Yeah. It's fine with it. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure that it's working, that they, the, the, the two computers are mm -hmm. talking. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, so, yeah. Why don't we both send each other an email? Okay. Then we'll, then we'll, <laughs> <laughs> then we'll know really what's, what's going on. Got, you know, I, I do look at Greg's emails, mm -hmm. um, but there's been nothing. It's the same four emails, and it was way back mm -hmm. when we were discussing the salt and stuff. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. So there's been nothing, nothing new except for that grant. I did catch mm -hmm. that grant on there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that uh, came from that didn't come from the town office. It came yeah. from somewhere, probably from VTrans or. Yeah. 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 I think so, it. Something to just. Something yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. But uh, okay. we'll, we'll email. We'll try to email it and see if we can. Are, are you 100% sure that there isn't more like one little letter or a period missing? Do you know what I think it is? 
I went to the garage's email and put Elfie's name in there. Oh, yeah. No, I have no wow. email set up with my... Mm. So that's why. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. It's got to be, it's got to be Greg's. Okay. You still should have gotten the bounce back, though. I, I have it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't get bounce backs like I used to either. Yeah. I'm not mm -hmm. sure why that is. Probably maybe going to a spam folder or something. Yeah. I've even yeah. checked that. And yeah. Yep, they're not there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're up there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's enjoying that. <laughs> were, they, were there issues that I need to deal with? Um, <laughs> not that I remember, no. No, okay. Good. It was just a, hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> More like a FYI, did you see this? Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, there was one that came around. It was about some training for people who supervise that was one CDL of them. employees. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. yeah. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. I'm probably gonna miss it. Yeah, and I think I it's. I think it was like ten o'clock. Where is it's it? It's like a one hour. It's an online thing. Zoom, it's right? It's like a webinar or Zoom yeah. thing, which. Yeah. Okay. So you gotta get your laptop. Next time. But I, I, <laughs> I think right. it might be the same training. I remember a training that I was at, that you were at, and here our old road foreman Harry was at with a, like a drug. It's a kind of an aware substance abuse awareness kind yes. of training. Yeah. So yep. I know you've already done that. It was yep. a few years ago. Yep. But yeah, and I would have mm -hmm. the document. Yeah, still should be updated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, so. I think it was suspicion. Was yeah, that's it was suspicion of something or other. Yeah, how to yeah, how to look for was, signs of yeah. of uh, substance abuse, basically. Mm. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Mm. All right. Well, that, it, not to waylay the meeting uh, in in Carol's style, but I have a question about plowing my road. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Well, I'm wondering if there's a de if there's a determining factor. Sometimes you plow all the way up. Yeah. And sometimes you stop at my barn. Uh, if it depends on the amount of snow. Okay. I mean, it, I try not to make a mess of your lawn, first yeah, of all. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, so <laughs> if it's only a little bit of snow, yeah. there's no point. Then cool. You know what I mean? Uh, but if there's enough snow, then absolutely it'll, yeah. I'll clear it. When you say all the way up, what, where does Well, it, it turns to class four just past my driveway. Oh, okay. So that's where he so stops. So he's not going way up? Way yeah, way no, 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 he's not. Yeah, I mean all the way up to the yeah. class four. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I turn yeah. around back by his barn. Uh-huh. And it's... Yeah. Well, and Greg, you did the like same thing. Hunter did the same so. thing last year. It, it's, mm -hmm. it, you kind of either go up and then turn around, mm. or you go all the way up and then back down and turn around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's just no. Yeah. no yeah. When the cool. snow gets, when we get more snow, I'll, cool. I'll keep that clear. Yeah, great. Yeah. Mm. I don't have a bridge signal. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a culvert, culvert or anything. <laughs> no, you don't need to plow my class four road. I'm happy with it the way it is. Sure. <laughs> yeah. 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 Fewer people going up there, the happier I am. Yeah. 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 Does anybody go up there? Mostly just Jezebel. Yeah. Every now and then there's a couple of other, yeah. I see a couple of other. This time of year, Sherm stops coming down, but Sherm will, when he's coming back from the creamery, will come down in the summer. Oh. You get about a half dozen cars in the summer, and then Jezebel will come down until it gets too bad to drive it. She and lives then, there? Yeah, she's across from Elizabeth's she shed. Yeah. yeah, she's, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she goes out the other way. Um, well, when it gets too, when it's too much, she just parks up at the top and, oh, and walks. walks down. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it's kind of a weird mm -hmm. spot. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Anyways, thank you. We'll see what happens. There's going to be a lot of cars up there now this year with yeah. our yeah. new friends. It's different, mm -hmm. different families. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. Anything else on roads? Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, have a good evening. Okay, you too. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Alfie. <laughs> yeah. Email me, Robin. I will do that. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Karen. Maybe you can drag out that laptop and yeah, we'll power that. it up and just see what's there. And maybe work. somebody yeah. will stop by who, you know, John Reed or yeah. Jonathan or somebody yeah. who knows what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, and we could get it to Alfie just to see. What, I mean, I don't think there is a email on it there, there might be you know i i just skip got that so that we could use it with the remote mm -hmm. so that's the only thing i've ever 
used mm -hmm. it for and, and the, the fact that it froze up on me a couple of times when um, I just stopped using it because it, it wasn't dependable. Okay. But um, if it's got Wi-Fi, then it can get email. I mean, it's yeah, right. if, you, if you have an email account set up right. on it, um, and I don't know if Skip did that or not, um, he might have. Um, mm. He did. There are other well, things. There are other things. Okay. On it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. And I could get it down to the to the mm. garage too. Mm. Um, so. Yeah, easy you might make, well, what, we want to make sure it's going to do what he needs it to do before yeah. you dump it up there. Yeah. So. Um, I can give an update on the village school stormwater project. Um, so um, this is the project that uh, um, of the different sites in the village that were oh. acknowledged for some type of stormwater mitigation um, from a, a study that we did a few years ago now. Um, but this is the one that made it through to the 100% design. So they're. Um, and the next step um, would be to imp implement the design and uh, actually put the um, infiltration basin things in. So um, as a member, as a town rep to the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission, um, one of my roles with the planning, the Regional Planning Commission is, is that I'm on the executive committee. And at the meeting that we had last Monday, um, Brian Voigt, who did come and meet with us, um, back early in the summer about this project. Um, he has an application um, put together um, with both, so with one site, that site here in Woodbury and a couple sites in Callis that he's submitting um, uh, for implementation for the funding to do that. Um, so I just wanted to um, let everybody know that um, that process has started. Um, but he, where did we get the message that it was approved? Um, well, the executive committee, it's a contract that the executive, the regional planning commission will undergo. They're going to work, they're going to work with the town to get contractors. So they'll pretty much do all of the oversight work. Um, uh, and so the executive committee did approve um, the and submission of the grant application. And it's already 100% designed? Yes. That was okay. another another grant process. Yeah. Um, so the design work has been done. Um, and so this would be for the, the actual So is this the one you've been talking about needing to get around? No, this is a different one. Yeah, don't, shouldn't confuse it with the Planning Commission's <laughs> wastewater. No, 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 I'm talk, talking about the one out here, the culvert. The, that's, the, that's, uh, that's, a, culvert. that's a different. Different, okay, yeah, different, that's never different. mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, that's just an update for that. Okay, so CB, so they're submitting the grant. Yep. And I assume that they'll pretty much oversee it too. Um, to um, they're submitting the grant to VTrans. I can't remember who it was. Um, it must be. No, what the VTrans no. won't be involved really? with this okay. at all. It's not a road no. thing, really. Um, oh, it's natural resources. Must be. It, something it might be. Um, the regional planning commission. Sometimes another region, regional planning commission, will get a big pot of money, and mm. they'll advertise that they need to spend it. So, you know, it, it's, I, I didn't follow yeah. the trail of where okay. the money was coming from. Yeah. I could find that out though. That's all right. Yeah, but, <laughs> Thank you. So, um, so, what you have been waiting for is next on the agenda. <laughs> yeah. This is enjoyable for me. <laughs> I'm glad. You could be sitting here. Um, so, um, update on the PFA. PFAS, I guess is how you say it, water contamination. Our main man on knowing what's going on with that is Chris, who's not here. Um, there was some information that Ann Peltz shared about something happening in Crassbury with this same issue. I haven't had a chance to look at those emails yet. I, I did talk with the, the, one of the select board members in Crassbury about this subject, and she said they've been dealing with it for 
two or three years now for their community water system, they've dug two wells mm -hmm. and neither one of them produced enough water to satisfy the needs of the community system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you aware of the PFAS? Uh, I'm aware of it. I, okay. I'm, don't, I'm not aware of anything being done about it other right. than bottled well, water coming into the school, right. which so, doesn't seem like a good long-term solution. Right. Mm -hmm. um, if you were to watch the last select like, board meeting, there was quite a bit of discussion about it. Um, Larry Eldred, who's kind of used to be our the maintenance person for this school, but now he's pretty one of the maintenance crew um, for the the. Um, whole school system. Mm -hmm. um, he was here, and, and Ann Peltz was here. She's a, a elementary school board member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and Larry, Larry pretty much shared with us what's being done is they're trying to figure out now where that contamination is coming from. Um, and it does look like probably in the future that the town is going to be drilling a well somewhere. Um, the town. Yeah, hmm. yeah. It's town. We own the building. We own the property. We're the landlord. It's up to the town, I think, to hmm. to solve the problem. Oh. Um, maybe the school would help. Um, <laughs> but uh, and that's kind of where it's at. Um, they can use. Obviously, it's just drinking water that's the concern. So um, right. And fortunately, the. You know, the meals come from the Hardwick cafeteria, so any preparation of food is not an issue either. Um, um, it might, you know, it's probably a pain in the butt to have to deal with bottled water, mm -hmm. some, I would imagine. But they don't have to worry about the water running down from Crossbury to Hardwick? They should, probably shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, Actually, it's down to Hardwick. Yeah. Yeah. The school's up on the hill, so you're all right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we are pretty much outside of any watersheds that might flow from Crestbury, though. Yeah. So, so what is there a timeline for? I mean, how do they, you know, in terms of figuring out where it's, from, you know, what the cause is? Yeah, I don't know the answer to that question. I know yeah. that there is a there is. Um, uh, my guess is just based on what happened here in the village a few years ago is that they'll probably have little. What do they call those test sites where they can sample the water? Mm -hmm. um, and, I mean, I guess they've got to try to figure out where it's coming from. So, mm -hmm. But that process has begun. Um, it probably would take some time to figure it out. So, so the school is actually working on trying to figure out where the PFA, PFAS, mm -hmm. I'll call it. I don't know how to. Yeah, no, I think you're right. Is coming from. PFAS, yeah. yeah. So. Um, yeah, it wasn't clear to me where that. Where the responsibility lies, whether it's between mm -hmm. the town mm -hmm. and the school, and knowing that, I mean, I can certainly yeah. talk to Ann about it and yeah. what she knows. So, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I mean, the school is taking the responsibility of trying to figure out where the where the contamination is coming from, but, um, right. or what they can what they can what they do. might be able to do about it. Yeah. I don't know how there might do. there might be some way of filtrating. Uh, it would be expensive to put mm -hmm. that in in system in place, if I remember right from what Larry said. Um, so that's drilling the well is not going to be cheap either. No, so. mm. no. It said in the minutes from the last meeting, it said Larry will be meeting with two representatives from the state to review next steps to identify the source of the problem and possible solutions. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I can talk to Chris about it too if he's <laughs> right. Well, he just knows about the whole the PFAS thing in yeah. general. I mean, he said. Sometimes it just comes from the air. Yeah, that's right. that's. I mean, what do we do? I don't know what's up there that could be polluting that. that well, not. I, I mean, and are, do do they know that it's not from the building? It's not. I don't know. You know, it's not, it's from, not the from pipes or anything like I, that. I'm, they're, yeah, I'm okay. pretty. They're pretty certain. Sure they would have okay. yeah. checked it out. There's a the there's a whole system in the basement of the school for, um, there's all kinds of water sampling that goes on all the time because- No, it is, I know, and because public. I know last year the, it, it was only in one sink that they mm -hmm. tested and mm -hmm. now it's the mm -hmm. whole school. And that's why I was wondering mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how did, how did, how it wasn't, I was assuming right. it was the building because of that, because yeah. last mm -hmm. year there was only one location and then mm -hmm. this year it was the whole thing. Yeah. So, so if they're doing water testing, you would think there would be some testing at the spring also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. you think. You think. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I, part of the thing is that the, the level is just above what the state will allow for a public water source. If, if that was a, somebody's home, mm -hmm. they wouldn't be worried about it. Right. Mm -hmm. so, Probably all of our homes have more PFAS in them. Well, that's, <laughs> that's the thing. You know, the state, from what happened down in Bennington, you know, I think they have a program now testing mm -hmm. for PFAS in all of the school systems. So mm -hmm. I bet they might find it in other places, too. Yeah. Um, you know, Chris is thinking, as a geologist, is that um, you know these contaminants are also airborne, and that they're it's like the old acid rain thing. Mm. Where, you know, it's just going to mm. come uh, with the storm, stormwater, rainwater, and, right. and mm. that this problem will be widespread yeah. in the future. Um, and he's probably right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so. Um, well, yeah, and all that, right? The melting of polar caps and the carbon mm -hmm. that that's really, you know, all, there's yeah. all that kinds of, you know, mm -hmm. when, we, when our ground is warmer this much more of the year, who knows what that's mm -hmm. bringing mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, yeah. Sorry, didn't mean to bring the meeting down. <laughs> so, yeah. But Larry did promise to keep us updated on it. Okay. Um, so, um, mm -hmm. and you could, I mean, as our, town health officer, you could call a school and just um, ask to get Larry's contact information. He's not the town health officer. Oh, I thought he was. No. no. Oh, so I have you confused with someone else then. This okay. is... <laughs> someone else who's dashingly the handsome. Josh. <laughs> I don't even think I met him in person. The guy, Josh Corn, who lives over on Buck Lake Road. Okay. Okay. He came into a meeting. Yeah. He did? Oh, that's yep. right. He did once. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Yep. He was yeah. on HCTV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, this is Jonathan what? Jonah. Jonah. Meacham. Okay. Meacham. Up on the old so Cabot so Road. He lived okay. up above Chuck there. Yeah. Okay. I'm up in Coleman Parker's old place. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. That because when you were talking, we talk about that too. when you were talking about your road, I was thinking Buck Lake Road. Now they uh, it didn't it wasn't making sense in my brain. Yeah, I don't want to talk about Coleman. So I guess Josh and Jonah just yes. kind of registered in okay. my brain. Yeah, no worries. So, no worries. He was on that uh, town meeting study committee right. with John Reed. And all yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. And now that that's done, would you like another appointment? Not just yet. Okay. But I, I'm happy to be, you know, uh, I, I, I still have a small child, so I, I don't know how people like Anne, you know, find the time <laughs> for all this. But, um, you know, uh, but, you know uh, as he gets okay. older, I'll have more time for, for stuff. Mm -hmm. so. Meanwhile, you can just sit home and watch it on HCTV <laughs> and not miss any of the fun. You know, must see TV, right? <laughs> Any meeting in person. Okay. I know. I, know. Oh. I watch them from time to time. Okay. <laughs> really? I went back and watched the one where Coleman and Chuck came in and and uh, argued about the class, the work they did on the class. Oh, floor no right kidding. That was before my time. I yeah, yeah look I remember at that. that meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you you you, uh, you and uh, Shatney held up yeah. pretty well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was. So there's other those other people living up there. Yeah, I mean they don't. You know, I'm far enough away; it doesn't bother mm -hmm. me much. But um, you know, I know Alan and uh, Dorothea definitely. It's mm -hmm. a challenge for them. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're still up there. They, I haven't seen they the. Um, they had a few cars, and they've mm -hmm. got they've got the minivan doesn't seem to move, but the, the truck that they think they do drive, I haven't seen for a little while, so mm -hmm. they might have mm -hmm. they might have found another place for while it's cold, which I, I sure hope, hope so. they do. Yeah, yeah. really. That yeah. is, you know, mm -hmm. they, it doesn't seem like, you know, Alan and Alan's living in a tent, but he's got a stove and, you know, he, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. he's mm -hmm. living like an old Vermonter would. They, mm -hmm. they you know, mm -hmm. they've got, but they're not set up for it. Right. No. You know, mm -hmm. yep. no. so. Living in a camper in the winter right now. Right. Sad. Okay. Okay. Um, so, any other business or updates? I don't have any. I can think of. Just the uh, change to the, the executive session. Right. No, I don't. But otherwise, meh. 
So, so um, work on the budget. Yeah, um, we, do we want to plan some other dates? Or it's kind of late. Yeah, we should have another. Oh, I'm not talking about tonight. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking about just setting maybe a special right. budget meeting. Right, another um, budget. Should we try to see if um, we could actually have Brandy let's there? Wait till, yeah, let's oh. wait till after Christmas. Okay. Or maybe Brandy will be back, and Chris, hopefully, will be better. And okay. All right. All right. So that reminds me of other business. Um, hmm. Do we want to meet December 26th? That's our next scheduled select board meeting. Sure. Sure. It's fine with me. We had talked about the 27th. What? I think you're right. Because the 26th is a holiday. It's a holiday. Yeah. I don't have to work at the pantry on the 26th. Really? <laughs> That's something, you know. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, that's okay with me. Yeah. Okay. Another day. Same time, same place, but uh, on the twenty okay. seventh. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I didn't I think get a chance did. to I do ask. remember us discussing that. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to ask Carol where she found on the website that we had a different meeting place. She obviously wasn't looking at the agendas because the agendas always say right on top. Right. Oh. She just went down to yeah. the town office where we used to used meet to before meet. the pandemic. Three years ago. Yeah. yeah. I'll take a look at the website tonight to see if I can. Hmm? I'll take a look at the website today yeah. to see, to see mm -hmm. if that is somewhere. Yeah. Okay. All right, so December 27th. So between you, well, I think we just really got to wait to see what's up with Brandy before yeah. we set another meeting. Okay, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Maybe I'll just try to contact her to get a sense of mm. what she thinks, when she thinks she might mm. be able to, to do that. And Robin, thank you for getting those printouts for us for our yes. meeting yep. last that week. It was helpful. It was yep. very helpful. Yeah. Yep. There's mm -hmm. a lot of parts of the budget that um, the only person that knows the answer to them is Brandy. So mm. we did. Quite a bit of the general budget um, at that special meeting on December 6th. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you should also work on, usually Brandy and I would work on the office things. Okay. So you can be working on that part of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever they... Yeah. And then there are parts of the town highway budget and the general budget that, that um, are kind of under Brandy's. Um, okay. Um, yeah, office operations and expenses, supplies, Lister software, planning commission posted, training, you know, that it's on page two of 18. Mm -hmm. Heat for the town hall. That's, you can work on that stuff. Okay. Thank you. So at this point, um, I just, I guess I would, if we're done with that, I'll just make the motion that we move into an executive session. All right. Okay. So if I second it, I also, the two of us have approved it. So, mm -hmm. um, and that's was the camera rolling when you, maybe we should just okay, do the VSA say, number and do the official. The uh, I move that we enter executive session under the authority of the Vermont statutes annotated 313A1E. It has to do with pending litigation. Okay. 